Hey there, and welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Um, today, I want to uh, go in. I just did a video on prompting and some basics on prompting, and I'll let you watch me take one prompt, a very basic prompt, and then tweak it to come up with a small pack that I can list on Etsy. So I'm um, doing small because small is a lot easier for me to do without it going into a long two hour kind of thing. So anyway, so I want to get started really quickly because I want you to be able to watch me go through my entire process and I'm going to do it as quickly as I can. So we're going to start over here in Artistly and info on Artistly and all my videos. This is what I use to create my art. Love it. Uh, info is in the comment section down there. So this is the packet that we've done. I've done these gazebos that are very pretty. I have um, like some summertime images and then I also have um, fall, Christmas, or winter time, and then I have this little patriotic summertime bunch. So, okay, so when I'm creating, I create my art first on Artistly, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, download, 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 download. Now, I'm only downloading the ones that I want to be in my pack. Okay, so I'm going to be skipping over some of them. Okay, and then here want these. So this is going to take just a little bit of time, but not a lot. These are so pretty. So we're going to have a beautiful gazebo pack. Now the ones with the brides and grooms, I'm not going to use those because those are outside of, I didn't do all of them and I want to just do this pack. Okay, so while that is downloading those, I'm going to open up this new program, I actually did a video on it. I don't get a referral or anything, no kind of fee or anything from you purchasing this one. They don't have an affiliate program that I'm aware of. And what I'm going to do is normally, now with these, I'm not going to do it because they're not that kind of art. Um, they're not something that I want to remove the background on. But I can batch, and I could select all these and go to... Okay, I could select all these and import them in and remove the background. I'm not going to do that because these I'm going to leave and still do high resolution PNGs, but I'm not removing the background. Now this one, when I click here, I can actually do the image upscaler. Now for anybody that's watched my previous videos, you know that for a long time I was using the Canva upscaler and the Canva background remover. Background remover is great. Upscaler is really pretty good. And I had no problems with the quality, but with dealing with tons of, sometimes my packs have 90 to 100 images. And when I'm doing those, the batch, um, being able to pull in and do them all at one time was very, very helpful. So anyway, so this is what we're going to do here. We're going to batch upscale. And what I'm going to do is I'm just selecting these all like that and I'm going to upload them. This is already, I have it on 4X, so it's going to improve the upscale them by four times. Now what's going to happen is sometimes when I do this, it will actually tell me when I go to upload them into Canva that it's upscaled them so much that I may lose one or two images, which is okay because these are kind of a a bulk amount of, if I lose one, it's fine. I'll use it for something else. But it may not, you know, I don't want them so large that I can't get them into Canva. Now, when they have all upscaled, and let me just scroll this down here. Is it'll show you that it's still working on these other images. But when that's complete, this will darken, and then I can download all of them. Now, if I were also back, removing the backgrounds, I would do that step first. Let me just say that I would do that step first. Um, background removal first. And when I'm using Pixel Cut, I would have to download the backgrounds that Pixel Cut has removed. I mean, the images with the backgrounds removed. Then I would take and re-upload those 
into pixel cut again and then do this step which is the, the um, upscaling so they should be getting close to finished I had a few more than I really thought I did there we go we're on the very last few and then this is going to allow me to there we go it should pop up there we go download all so that's downloading I'm gonna go over here to Canva now and what I'm gonna do is from the home page I'm gonna go into projects I'm gonna go into folders and add new folder I'm gonna put gazebo season as my clip art pack name okay so now here's my gazebo seasons here I'm clicking into it and then it says add designs create design I don't want to do either one of those things I want to add new upload okay so I've just got to wait and let's see we're gonna go down here so that we can it's about to I think open up my pixel cut okay so it just opened up this file for me to extract so I'm going to extract all of those images from pixel cut that were compressed okay now out of there and out of there and now I'm going to upload go to this folder that pixel cut just brought with my um, upscaled images I'm going to select all of them and let them populate okay and then I'm going to oh my 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 so what it's telling me is that there are several of these that are above 25 megabytes in size so I actually may have to go in and it's only giving me like three images okay so I have to go back now and instead of doing it this way I am going to go out I had no idea it was gonna do it that that means that my quality was already pretty good to start with so let's I'm gonna go do this again and I'm only gonna upscale it by two times this time because That way we can we can get them all in there I want to be able to show you okay, and I'm going to actually remove these because I don't want it to be confusing Put those to trash as to the image I don't want duplicates in there because I actually am going to list this so here we go I'm sorry it's gonna take a little bit more time but not a lot you make up a lot of, for this step you make up a lot of time of what you normally would have done doing each one of the images and upscaling them individually inside Canva so so I'm gonna make up the time very quickly now what I can do is I can go ahead over not there but I can go back to the home screen and I can go ahead and open up I need my brand template that I'm looking for I need one of these and I'm gonna open it up this is what I this is my basic um, canvas for doing my um, and then I'm going to go back into Canva and I'm going to do this one this template okay let's see it's not quite finished yet oh my goodness did I do it? okay sorry about that okay did you catch what I did I already have it set to four so I was actually 
it didn't my 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 I'm gonna have to go out again this is what doing videos is so much fun because then when you make a goof you either have to redo it I'm not doing it I'm not redoing it I'm just gonna watch, let you see that yes I, I make mistakes okay now in order to make it go 2x I have to do that before I put the batch um, import into the folder because it automatically starts okay so here we go it's going to do 2x okay now back to all the different little pieces okay so i have this i have my this is going to be my watermarked my little thumbnails that i need i also as part of my package do a guide and i don't i have one set up as a branding but i don't I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go and make a copy of it. It's better to have a brand template, but for the sake of time, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put gazebo seasons art. Kind of not really clip art, but anyway. So we're retitling the one that I'm going to be using. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go and open. I'm going to close this one so I don't mess it up. I'm going to go back in and then I have a video um, one that I do. So let me find the video. Let's just use the magical fairy one. Again, I'm going to go and make a copy. And I'm going to rename this Gazebo Seasons Art. Not for the video. Okay. All right. Now I have all of those in place. I'm going to, to close this one, go back to my upscaler, download all of these. Okay, now we should be ready to get started. Okay, so we're going to the home page for Canva. Okay, all right, so we're on the home page. We go to projects, and you know, I already made this gazebo. You watched me do that. Okay, so now we're going to go over here. We're going to go to Upload. And we're going to go to here. I'm going to extract all those. Okay. Okay. All right. This one right here should be right. And it should upload. Yes. Okay. So that was just too much. The 4X was too much for these particular images. Um, but now what we're doing, this will save us time because we're uploading them into a folder prior to going into any of our design um, pages. So it'll take it just a few seconds. While it's doing that, I'll just talk a little bit more about Artistly and my experience. For those of you that don't know, um, I actually purchased Artistly. It, it launched in the fall of 23. And that was when I purchased. So I, I have a head start over a lot of the digital product creators out there that, you know, they don't know about it. They mostly know about Midjourney. You probably are one of them. I had heard about Midjourney and some of the other ones. I really didn't at the time I purchased the platform. I didn't really know what I would do with it or where it would lead me. And now I do commercial clip art, uh, wall art, printables, um, all sorts of things. Really, it's it's become such an integral part of my business. It's such a wonderful tool, and there are so many different applications for the art. Uh, until it has just been a great purchase for me. And the fact that it is a one-time purchase and that 
I don't have to worry about the monthly fees was very attractive and you know but when, when I started I mean literally when I purchased was on the day of launch and I just really I was very attracted to it liked it could see all kinds of possibilities but when I started to tell you how far the program has come Literally, it had like maybe three sizes that were available, and none of them were what I wanted. So, a lot of people started saying, oh, but it won't do this size or that size. And then very quickly, they changed that. And now we have lots of others. They're, um, they'll be upgrading again soon. We've already had a 2.0 come out. That's what I work on. Okay, so back to what we're doing. So, we have the items in the folder. I'm going to go into my pack here that I'm going to be working with. And I'm going to change the name up here to Gazebo. Sorry about that. We have puppies <laughs> or a dog that's Got a big mouth. Sorry about that. Okay. So what we're going to do is now we can just go into, we can go into the folders and go into our gazebo seasons. And I'm so sorry. Baby, shush. Okay. So what I do then is just drag and drop them. But as I go along, because this has just kind of worked for me, I have these set up so that I can just paste into these spots to make my little thumbnail images. And I use them in a couple of places. So I'm just going to hush now and just let you watch me. Um, but I'm going to be working on these two things and let you see how I work up a pack. So... Now, why do I do it like this? Well, I've tried it several different ways. Um, my layout works for the majority of things. And it's a, well, this is where I've changed it. But anyway. Um, yeah. So, hang on, let me get my piece of get everything situated again. Okay. So I want to say that's pumpkin one. Okay. That's what happens when you try to work and talk. But anyway, that's okay. We're going to get it done. Okay. So here, here we go. Okay. So the reason that I do it this way is because I do a video. I also do the little idea book. And I like for people to be able to print a little, to print a little guide out and not have to I like for my buyers not to be able to or not have to <sighs> not have to 
not have to do a lot of scrolling. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm telling you, this is the first time I've tried to do one this intensive without, with me trying to talk and then drag and keep up with all these different little images and make sure I'm not putting them in the wrong place. So bear with me. We'll get it done. Okay. So, um, so that's pretty much why I do it this way. Um, I, I have these and I use these both in my, I will add a, a watermark to them, but the ones that don't have watermarks will go into the info guide and the ones that, um, that don't, um, that have the watermark, those will be the ones that I put in my, I'll put those in the, um, in the listing, um, so that people can, you know, see them when they're looking at the listing itself. I'm going to be quiet again, just so I don't mess this up. And I do apologize for that. That's not very professional, but you know, I'm really not professional in that sense of the word with the videos, but I think they are helpful. So I kind of go from there. <laughs> I do have fun doing the videos though. And then hearing when people say that they have been helpful to them. I'm almost finished and then we'll move on and I'll show you the rest of it. But I did want you to get a very realistic look at how I do it. I've had so many requests for me to do a video like this. So I just thought I would go ahead and do it and let you see. On the video, I promise I would have, I would speed this up, but I really don't know how to, I haven't quite figured that out. So it'll probably just be the way it is. And I'm just moving as quickly as I possibly can. And the last one. Okay, awesome. Now we basically have two parts of my whole process done. Okay, so here I don't need these. So I'm just going to drag them off. I'm going to delete these. And if I have space like this, I don't normally do it unless I have the space like that. I will pop back over to this one, scroll up to the top where I have my little logo thing my little seal, and then I'll just place it right here in the middle. Let's drag it down here, make it a little bit bigger, just a little to make it look cool. Cool. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to share over here. I'm going to download. I'm going to drag this back over because I don't need it to be real heavy. So I'm going to save that and it'll drag it back over to 2,500 by 2,500. Okay. Still save it as a PNG. I don't have to worry about making it transparent or anything at this point. I'm going to, um, 
just unmark this box here, which is basically just my grid that I use. So I'm going to download these, okay? Now I'm going to, I'm going to close out of those. Okay, so into the idea guide here, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. This I'm going to rename. Yeah, I have to be careful about this because I always screw it up. Okay, so we're going to do gazebo seasons art pack. And it is kind of clip art, but it's not more of an art pack. Okay, that's telling me that that's wasn't able to do it. Okay, I'm going to drag this over like this, but it's not transparent PNG, so I'm not going to that on there. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just because of the nature of the pack. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is since I know that since I used now, if it's if it was one where I had not used all of them, but I did use all of them, I can just go up and kind of randomly select some images and place them where I want to on here. And I'll probably try to do an example of each one of the seasons somehow. And I can tell that I have 23 images because this is the 24th one. So I'll change I'll change this one and put 23 there. And let's see, I want a fall one. Let's do this one. Let's see. We can do it kind of like, I don't really want it to crisscross or anything. And then we need a really pretty summer time. Well, that's kind of a summery one patriotic one. Let's do this one. That was kind of a patriotic one. And I just kind of adjust the images to kind of do it like this. I just want it to look pretty. So you've a lot of you have seen my clip art packs and you kind of know how they normally look and everything. So, so what I'm going to do is do this, change in the color because I like it a really black. Okay. And let's see here. Nope. I'm going to kind of just down like this. We're going to make that even bigger, the writing, since we're doing it the way we are. So it'll be easy to read. Put this kind of in center. And then what I'm going to do is pick out another couple of, let's do this one. And let's just put them here. And this one. Oh, that's the one I picked out. <laughs> I must really like that one. Let's do this one. I'll just put them there. And then this one. I am picking out. My, that's a different one. So since that, they both have red in them, let's reverse it and put this one here, this one here, and this one there. Let's go there. Okay, very good. So now we have the the part pack, and it is all ready for me to download that cover image. I'm gonna only do the cover image right now by selecting that one. And I don't have to worry about, it can be a PNG, but it doesn't have to be, I don't want it transparent. I want you to be able to see the background. So 
Let's see, before we do that, let's ungroup this. I don't like the placement of that one. I need to kind of shift it around a little bit. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, now we're going to go back in, start all over. Um, we just need this one page. That's all fine. Download it. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Upload. We're going to go back to where it's just, I'm going to refresh it. And here's our copy of our cover art, which we're going to put in our idea guide. You're going to see that I have lots of frames and things that are set in that all I have to do is just drag it. So there it goes. It's just perfectly done. Okay, I'll come back when I have uploaded this to Dropbox and I will change this link. Here's terms of service, terms of use or whatever. How the clip art was created. And then here I will change this to um, Gazebo Seasons. Clipart. I'm just going to leave it clipart. And then what I do is there's two places that I have this. So I'm going to take, scroll down, move that, paste it. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go back over to the projects and the folders. I'm going to go into the gazebo seasons. And now I'm going to replace all of these. I'm just going to drag and drop randomly pretty pictures. Okay. All right, so all those are done. And now I'm going to do some more. Okay, so these can be anything. You can set them up for anything. Now, what I'm going to do is I have downloaded those images before. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go over here to the, let's see. There's your pixel cut. So where I thought it had done it. Okay, so we're going to go back over to this. And I actually thought it had already done, but maybe not. Okay, so we're going to do it again. Drag it back. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to try and see if, for some reason, I didn't refresh this. Downloads. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back into this and let's go ahead and change this out here. Okay, so gazebo season. Thumbnails and download. We're going to be, oops, just removing that one, downloading those. Just as soon as they're ready, we'll be able to drag those into um, our idea book. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's extract those. Okay. All right. So what we want to replace are these images. So what we're going to do is upload. I'm 
there they are these images right here okay so we're going to try what we're gonna hover and all right go to the next page Do this. Just have to make them fit on the page. Make sure that that's not the same. Okay. And then we have this last one. And if you just kind of hold it, it'll it'll fix itself. Okay. Okay. So there's that. These we don't need, so always erase the ones you're not using. Okay. So now we're going to go up, and I am ready to. We can leave that there. I'm ready to undo those. We do page one. We do page nine and ten. Those are we're going to use for something else, so I have to download those first. Then we're going to go into our video. Now, while that's doing it, we can go over here. We've already uploaded our cover, so we can go ahead and put that in there. And then we're going to, just as soon as that pops up, extract those. Okay. And then we're going to upload, upload those. So we're going back and we're going to upload these pages because they are part of our video that we're doing. Okay, so when it comes to videos for your Etsy listings, now I don't use the video feature. Um, I will show you that in just a second. Now see what I do is I click on this and I drag it down and that's the portion that I use on that particular image. On this one, I'm dragging the shirt. Okay. I'm to this. I'm dragging my little cover in there. And it's going to automatically. These are from Canva. Um, there are some mock-ups that I used. Okay, so everything is in our video. So that's how quickly you can create your video once you set it up. Now, when you download it, though, this is just in a regular a regular file, you know, just a regular 2500 by 2500 pixel image pack thing. Okay, so we don't need transparent or compressed or anything like that because this is just the video that goes on it. But when you select the file type, go all the way down to MP4 video and download it. Okay, so it's going to download. Now, what I need to do is I need to, I do my stuff on um let's see let me find my pack okay this is my pack on 23 pngs this is the pack now i'm back at it i need to download these images so that i can upload them into uh, dropbox and make my link so yes you can download them and not you don't have to de um you know, you can leave them as a compressed image and then upload that. I normally just download them. Um, but you can do and upload the individual images so they're, that the people on the other side, the buyers, don't have to go to the trouble of, you know, figuring out how to uh, uncompress something, you know. So I just do it that way. Let's see. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download these images. I'm going to drag all the way over to get the best quality, which is actually going to put it at 78, 13 by 78, 13 pixels. Okay. 
And um, for these, I'm not going to do transparent because I don't want these to be transparent. So, and then I don't, I don't really think I need to compress. If I were doing clip art that has transparent backgrounds, I would click this and this, and then I would download. But I'm not, so I'm going to leave those open. Now, what I am going to do is because this has it's just going to bog the file down that much more and it's not necessary for them to have this page in their file. I am going to unselect that one so that it just does 2 through 23. I mean 24. So I'm going to download these now and then once they're downloaded I will upload them into my Dropbox. Now, I'm not going to go through this step because most of you already know how to do a listing on Etsy, what you have to do. However, I am going to give you a tip that saved me tons of time once I started really doing a lot of listings. And that is using, picking out one of your other listings that you've already done that's similar to the product that you are going to be uploading and creating the new listing for. But, you can copy that. You can change all the other stuff. You just have to be really careful to make sure that you are changing the, the things, the features that are different. Your description, um, changing your file um, that you upload, changing your images, changing your title, changing your keywords. But there's some things about it that are probably going to be the same. So, um, you know, you don't have to... If you want to change the price or whatever, you can do that. You can you can change as much or as little as you want to. So in some cases, I've designed similar. Like I might have little girls, and then I might want have you know like a multicultural pack of little girls. So basically, it's the same pack, but just with more girls. So I can a lot of times use the same description, similar title, just add multicultural or whatever. Um, diverse, whatever, into the, the top, you know, the title. I can change a few of the um, tags, but a lot of the tags are going to be the same. So a lot of those things I don't have to, I don't have to keep typing in that, you know, type yes, that you understand this is a digital product. You know, I don't have to do that. So it does save some time that way. But um, I really do hope that, you know, I'm really on the very end of this when this is, you know, completely downloaded, then that's basically, that's basically it. I'm going to show you how to add your link into the, um, into the idea guide and how to, what I can do is I can go ahead and do this. I can copy, see, I copy this and then I just paste it, the watermark over. So I'll do that because that is a step that I have to do. So that'll be ready, and I can go ahead and actually download. Now I'll download this file again. It's the same file. I keep the same file. I just do it in the order of I uh, go ahead and do the ones uh, without the watermark and download them before I put the watermark on, and that saves me some time. And uh, just going to download those. And it numbers them. It has the same title, so it's going to number them. And that ha that's how I know when I go to use them what to do. Okay. So we're going to be, the next thing we'll be doing is changing this link. Um, okay. I'm waiting on that so that I can download the... images and upload them to Dropbox. I like Dropbox. I've had it for many years and never had any problems, so I just feel secure with that choice. You can do Google Drive. I've got some things on it, too. I just don't have any of my art links uh, on the, the um, Google Drive, but I mean, I know there are a lot of different ones out there. What I would advise you is don't just go with somebody that's an unknown name because all anybody has to do is set up an account and 
you know, they can, you know, they can set a website up and let you store things and all your info could be gone. You know, I mean, there are so many different fraudsters out there. It's just crazy. So you just want to make sure that you're not falling victim to any of these scams that are out there and that you're using reputable places if you're uploading your information to it. There we go. That's the little one, but hopefully by the time I extract it, that's just getting it ready for me to upload onto Etsy. And this one's almost finished. So hopefully it'll be done in just a second. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. And then I'm going to go. I don't know where it is on yours, so you'll just have to find that out. But for me, this is the way I get into my Dropbox. Okay. All right, so I go down here on my computer, which I'm sure is probably not the same for you, and I go on to the, um, the internet version, the online version. Okay, the first thing I do is I create a folder. So this one will be Gazebo Seasons Art. Okay, so create it. I've created this folder, and then it's going to open that folder, and there's nothing in it. So then I'm going to go over to Upload folder. I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload all of those images. And it shouldn't take it very long to upload 23 items. None of them are really huge. These are kind of big images, um, the quality of them is, but so they wouldn't be something that would probably be uploaded back into Canva because people probably wouldn't be using them that way. They would probably use them. I'll probably market them more as wall art, like a package of wall art that could be changed out. <laughs> because they're really large files. Now, another thing you can do with these like this is actually save it as a PDF, you know, and um, I'm probably going to do that as well for my pack. So let's go in and do that too. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do there is we're going to download and we're going to do a print PDF so that's in really good quality. And we're going to flatten the PDF because we don't have any links in this, so it's okay to do that. And it's okay, we can just include this as well. And we're, so we're going to, we're going to change it to CMYK because that's best for professional printing. And we're going to download that PDF print. That way they can take those images and just print them out using their PDF. These will be really pretty framed, you know, somewhere. Frameable art. Okay, so we're going to check back in on the Dropbox, which is right here. And it says they've all been uploaded. So I'm going to go over here to share folder. Always create a view copy. They can download from a view. Do not do edit or they will edit your original and it'll be a mess. So this link has been copied. We're going to go back into here, which is our thing. We're going to click on this and then the little pencil, which allows us to edit it. I'm going to, since this was had used another one at one point. So I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to actually go in and paste in the new link. Now, how do you test it? Um, you can click right there and 
test it. So this isn't right because this was the old link. So you always want to test it. So we're going to edit it again. We're going to take and remove this. And then we're going to paste it. And then we're going to click on. Now let's test it again and see. Let's see, there you go. There they are. Okay. So now we want to double check. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this. Now this, because it has a link in it, has to be saved as a standard PDF. So we're going to download that standard PDF. And then we're going to go into So we'll test that in a second. Okay, so that's done. But what we want to do is go in and open an incognito window. And I'm going to paste in that link. And let's see if it comes up correctly. Gazebo Seasons Art. And there they go. There it is for them. And then they can download the file. So that's all that they needed. Okay. And also probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and also I'm going to add in that PDF that I just created so that they can actually download them. So that's going to be a file. I'm going to go over here and grab it. Now, it's not the idea guide that we did. It was the other um, PDF that we created, which is where? Let's see. Schedule. It's not that one. Okay, let me see. I wonder if that one's not done yet. Oh. It's not opened. Okay. Now let's go back in. Let's go to file. Let's go back and go to that's the area guide. I do not know why that did not open. That's the guide. Okay. We just want the art. Well, I thought I downloaded it, but I might not have. So let's go back to the actual pack. And let's do it again. Okay, so we're going to download the print version, CMYK, um, flatten it, and then download it. Okay. Oh, I see what it is. It was still downloading. So hopefully in just a few seconds, one of those will actually finish. I guess it's because it was a really highly um, the quality and everything is better. So let's see. I know some of the, my videos are a little bit long and sometimes you just have to chop them up and watch a little of them at one time and then come back and watch a little bit more um, since they are designed with me kind of things so that you can watch me design things and do things then they are going to be a little more lengthy than just a 
a basic how to and you not really being able to you know me just trying to tell you how to do it rather than show you so i apologize for the length sometimes but sometimes you just need to be able to watch things to learn and pick up on it so let's see if we're going to get this pdf print okay really all i'm going to do at this point is go back in and when this pdf print um is finished i am going to go into the i'm going to go into the sorry about that my husband just came home so you may even hear him in the background but anyway what i'm going to do is come here and i will basically upload that file when it gets through um and appears here which it has not finished yet so i'm not going to let make y'all wait through all of that all i'm going to do is just upload it so that the pdf is also available here inside this file and under this link so that's all I'm going to do. So you don't have to wait for that. So anyway, thank you. I'm so glad that you were able to join me for this video and I hope you enjoyed it and that it will be a help in your business. Um, I use Artistly AI to create all of my artwork. If you're curious about it, I do have a link um, with my affiliate link down in the description box. Check it out. They have a uh, money back guarantee for I don't know exactly how many days at one point it was 30 days so you can check it out and if you don't like it it doesn't work for you you can always ask for a refund um, I do have a special group on Facebook that I'd love to welcome you into if you use my affiliate link and want to learn more about how to use Artistly in your business and um, I just want to thank you for watching my video if you would like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.